behind the scenes action. I'm going to have something in the description box because I want you to think that I'm lying when I use the word literally. What you're witnessing here isn't just an Antifa protest. Check out these pasty white individuals. You've probably seen them on television before. You may have even seen them in real life. They're like vampires. It's like they've never seen the light. You can't even imagine being this white. They're like a corpse. It's like dead skin over a shell. What you're looking at here is above top secret counterintelligence. What you're looking at here aren't humans at all. It's something else. Check out this weapon. Did you see it? Let's see if we can come back to that again. Waiting for the video guy. Check out this guy on the left. He's holding something. It looks like a cell phone. He moves in. He points it right at the target. And essentially he actions a type of energy weapon. You could probably feel it through the screen. We're going to play this again. Pay attention. Now we actually clipped out the very moment that he pushes the button. While this video may or may not be conclusive to the skeptic, there's definitely something going on out there. Something out of this world. He literally did that for the entire seven minutes and two seconds of this video. And think I'm lying. Think literally was hyperbole or I'm exaggerating. Because I do mean literally. To show that the CIA is using energy weapons on people for seven minutes and two seconds straight, he showed a dude putting a phone in his pocket. And I commented on that video two weeks ago. Right, go see it. I said that if there are energy weapons, he should do a lot better than showing the man putting something in his pocket. And I bring that up to say that I do understand that there are plenty of, that there is plenty of crazy in the conspiracy theory crowd. The giver then leads him to the basement and shows him a piano. He introduces him to music and the meaning of emotions. He then reveals to Jonas that the morning injections they take remove their ability to feel emotions. As he goes out, he grabs an apple and uses it on the morning injection instead of his arm. That was from a movie called The Giver. In that society, they were required to take cures daily. In a prior video, I was asking, at what point do things cease to be mere conspiracy theory and become fact? Like in the movie The Giver, I can see that the powers that be, or the few I call them, they're aiming to have us medicated daily. And yeah, I'm crazy conspiracy theory. Yeah, I know. Even though I can see it unfolding right now. And I'm sure some of you already know that they've been putting the cure in everything. But they're just getting started. They're putting it in the flu vaccines. They're using it in cancer treatments. They're putting it in the livestock, everything. Nearly 20,000 cattle are feared dead after a large fire at a dairy farm in Texas. This happened Monday night north of Lubbock. Witnesses say there was a large explosion that led to a fire which spread to the building where the cattle were held. One person was also trapped inside the building. The magnitude of, of the fire and, and the amount of people that were here, uh, we were very uh, fortunate that it was uh, less than what we had, you know, just at least one injured. And the worker was taken to a hospital where she remains in critical condition. Officials say it is the deadliest barn fire for cattle in Texas since they started tracking barn fires in 2013. 18,000 cows dead. That happened the other day. And I showed you, and 
some of you, I was preaching to the choir, you already know this stuff. But other people, I showed how what's amounted to millions of livestock that have been dying in one way or another. And there's been nearly 200 food processing plants that have caught fire. The meat, their food processing plants, no, our food processing plants are being eliminated. Meanwhile, the bug farms are being expanded. You can go check it out. Bug farms are being established. But how many people think that these mass killings of livestock will remain relegated to animals? How many of you listening don't think that the few are not planning for us to be next? So I was asking, at what point do things stop being conspiracy theories?